For today's project, we are inspired by a work of art by Pablo Picasso in which he depicts a bouquet of flowers. We are using Crayola markers and a white piece of sketchbook paper. The tricky thing here is no erasing. Because we're not going to be erasing, it's important to draw the things that are in the front uh, first so we don't have any overlapping lines that we don't want. So the first thing we're going to do is draw the hand that is going to be holding our bouquet of flowers. So to do this, um, we're going to have the hand gripping the flowers. So start with the arm. And then the hand is going to come out. And since it's gripping the flowers, you're not really going to see much of the hand. It's a little bit different than Picasso's version because he does show the fingers. So I'm just showing where the knuckles are. And then this is going to go this way. And then the thumb. And I'm going to actually skip here and leave a space for where the thumb is going to end. because the flowers are gonna go up through the middle. And the other difference between this and Picasso's version is we're just doing one hand to keep it simple. But of course, if you did wanna do a second hand, you could do that as well. The next step is to add the stems. I'm switching to a green marker, and I'm going to just use the edge to get thicker stems and the tip to get thinner, th thinner stems. So for thicker stems, we've got the edge, And then we can also do thinner stems for some variation. You can do fewer or more flowers, whatever really interests you. And now is the fun part of adding the flowers. So the flowers can be all different colors. I'm going to start with a red flower here, and again I'm using the edge of the marker to get larger lines. If you feel that's not enough flowers, certainly go back and you can add some smaller ones that maybe are lower in the bouquet. And you can go back and go behind the stems that you've made to add anything missing from your hand. And if you feel like being similar to Picasso, you could sign your name. on the page.